Right now, though, uh, it was a special pleasure to introduce back to you a gentleman who has something very important to say to you. So settle down, uh, turn your TV up just a little bit, and listen to T.D. Jakes. I've been uh, sharing out of my heart and out of my spirit on this subject, dealing with Daddy Loves His Girls, the effect of it, the power of it, so many things that God wants to do through it. I want to just uh, point to an illustration out of the Word of God in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter number 8, and uh, just about the 49th verse. It says, While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. This text is dealing with Jairus uh, as he goes before God for his daughter, who is first sick, and then it takes so long for Jesus to get there that by the time he comes, uh, the daughter is dead. So many people have given up on their children. They've given up on situations they've been praying about. They've been asking God to do it because he does not work in the time that we thought that he ought to work. We begin to think that he's not going to do it, but that is not true. He may not come when you want him to come, but God is always on time. He was detained by a woman, an another woman, woman who had an emergency. She's the woman with the issue of blood. And she ran up to him and touched the hem of his garment and was healed and made whole. When Jarius got the news that his daughter was dead, it appeared that it was too late. What we need to understand is that there is no such thing as too late for God. It might be too late for men, but it is not too late for God. In fact, God, man's extremity is God's opportunity to prove himself strong, to heal and to deliver and to release. And so what, what we have here, Jesus comes into a house of hopelessness, utter despair, but he comes in through the invitation of a praying father. And we often talk about praying mothers, but what our country needs in addition to praying mothers is praying fathers who are anointed to be priests in their home, who are anointed to do spiritual warfare, who are anointed to say to the enemy, you cannot have my daughter, you cannot have my marriage, you cannot have my ministry, I'm going to fight for this in the name of the Lord. Jarius brought the presence of Jesus into the house, even though it seemed like it was too late. The other thing that you really need to notice about this that I believe is extremely significant is when they got to the house, everybody in the house is weeping and mourning and upset. There, there's a whole system that surrounds trouble of people who feed off of the problem. They feed into it. They accept it. They capitalize on it. They have decided nothing else is going to happen here. The daughter is dead. It's over. Whenever you're going through a tragic spiritual warfare, you have to watch those people who come around as witnesses to the problem. They reinforce negativity and they can greatly hinder your faith. There's something, I don't know what it is, innately about us that we love to see people in trouble and, and we stop at car wrecks and accidents and we become spectators. Jesus put them all out. He put every one of them out. And if you're going to get a real miracle from God, many times you have to separate yourself from those people who are feeding into the problem and allow him to come into the room as he did with Jairus' daughter. The Bible says he put them out and went in the room with her and shut the door. In other words, once God gets on the case, he'll shut the door on the problem and say, I'm going to stay there until there is a change and there is a breakthrough. And as he ministered to her, he spoke to her, he spoke to her femininity. He spoke to her self-esteem. He spoke to how she saw herself. He says, Talitha Kuma, or damsel arise. And as he spoke to her, he strengthened that that was dead and called back to life again, that thing that was over. A lady just recently, a few moments ago, said, what do I do when it looks like it is too late to recapture what is gone? We serve a God who raises the dead if he can raise the dead, he can raise your marriage, he can raise your mind, he can raise your self-esteem, he can raise your 
family out of the ashes of life. I want to challenge you today and all of those across this wonderful country that are facing dead situations, that if you would allow God to come into that situation, he is able to raise the dead back up again and quicken and bring back to life those things that even everybody around you might be saying it is too late and it's over and we come to mourn the passing of your life and your marriage and your times or your youth. The devil is a liar. God raises the dead and he can do it for you if you trust him and believe him. He is an absolute miracle working God. It all started when a father decided, I am not going to take this problem laying down. I love my daughter and I want to see her resurrected by the power of God. I want to challenge fathers all over this country to get back in the game, put your uniform on and become involved with your children, with your wife, with your family and become a spiritual player. It's not enough to provide bread if you don't provide love and affection and affirmation. It will heal the land, it will heal the family, and it will heal the nation. It is so significant. That is the place where the enemy is fighting us the most, but where there is the greatest resistance, that's also the place where there is the greatest victory. And if we believe God, he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we may ask or think if we just trust him. Praying for you. Hope that something I've said has been a blessing to you today in Jesus' name. Let's just praise the Lord together. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bishop Jenks always got a word for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to encourage you right now, wherever you are. Let me give you a telephone number. And if something that he said struck a spark in your heart, I want you to walk over to your telephone, pick it up, and call that number that's on your screen right now and say, I want to receive all that he was talking about in my life. I need Jesus Christ in my life. I want you to pray for me that God will enable me to be released from whatever it is that's held me in bondage. In fact, let me just take a moment to pray for you right now in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that the words that were spoken today will reach out and resurrect that which is dead in someone's life. Lord, maybe it's they need to know you again. They have strayed away from you. Resurrect that faith in them, Lord. Or maybe they feel like it's too late for something that has happened years ago. Resurrect the hope and the faith and the confidence in your ability, Lord. Set them free, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.